Hello everyone. So in this video, I will show you how you can do 3D segmentation in CT scans or MRIs or any type of scans, 3D medical imaging using 3D slicer. So I will show you how you can do that manually using like multiple tools. Okay. So for example, I have this CT scan here opened and let's do the segmentation or the annotation of the liver for example so we'll do only several slices and you can uh, like from the first same idea you can do for the whole slices okay so that the, like the video will not be uh, longer but like it will be the same thing for all the slices so whenever you are here and you have opened your volume you need to go to segmentations okay so whenever we go to segmentations for the moment we will see nothing here because we don't have any segmentation file and we don't have any masks so what we need to do we need to create a new segmentation so we go to select segmentation and click on create new segmentation okay now whenever we have completed this let's start by creating new segment because like whenever we create a new segmentation meaning that we have a new segmentation file it can be nifty or an rrd or something like that like the storage file this is the segmentation and then we need to create the masks which are the segments so if we have only one class we will have only one segment if we have multiple classes we will have multiple segments but only one segmentation file for the whole scan okay so let's create the first segment and since we said that we want to do uh, to segment the liver so let's for example call it liver okay so that we don't get confused with the others if we have other uh, classes and if you want to change the color you need to come here and like uh, click two times and search for the color that you want or you can directly take it from here okay so let's for me i will just leave it green by default now let's start do, doing the segmentation so to do the segmentation you need to go to this pen here to the segmentation editor now you have the multiple uh, like the uh, tools that you can use to do the annotation so let's start by the easiest one and we can go to, to the others we have three main tools that can use them for the manual annotation if you want to do like automatic annotation so you can include some deep learning models from monai or from the nvidia servers but for the moment we will talk only about the manual segmentation so using like normal brush or uh, the other uh, tools that i will show you in this video okay so let's start by the brush so if we choose this uh, icon here meaning that we'll use the brush to do the segmentation you can select the diameter of the uh, of the brush here in this uh, scrolling here if you just uh, take it for example into this you see that we have like a bigger uh, bigger brush which we don't need for the moment so let's just keep it something like this okay so that we can be a little bit precise in terms of borders but if you want to make it or more bigger you can do that all the time okay so let's do the segmentation for example of this if you have already seen some of my videos for example the one that i used itk snap to do the annotation you can see that most of the time i prefer like directly doing everything and then doing uh, using the uh, eraser to uh, refine the borders so it will be faster and easier so now let's choose the eraser this is the eraser so you can come here and start like cleaning your borders because if you saw the video about itk snap to to do the erasing part you can directly uh, use the uh, right button but in slicer it is not uh, it's not the case so you need to select the eraser and start doing uh, the same thing as you were doing the annotation but instead like with the uh, eraser selected not the brush here okay so maybe i can correct this part i'm like i'm sure that i am not as much as precise for this task but just to make the video faster because if we want to make it very precise like the video will take about uh, 30 minutes or more but this is not the purpose the purpose is just how to use the tools so now for example let's say this is the uh this is the segmentation of the liver for this slice and now uh as we can see we use the brush now i will show you how you can do like do the same thing but with another tool so let's go to the next slice for example and now let's use this tool so this tool like it is called draw but in reality what does it mean we will draw some points in the borders 
and then the segmentation will be created or the mask will be created like based on the uh, like on the points that we will do and these points will give the polygon and from the polygon we can create the mask so let's let's start with that let's just click here to start the first point and then for example here you can see like we are seeing we are tracing our polygon and let's do the same thing and let's try to be as much precise as possible I'm doing it faster for the video but you need to be precise okay now I am pressing like the left button to create the points and whenever I am here I directly click on the right button to trace the mask so now we have the mask okay so we have the polygons that we created using the left buttons and now we created the whole mask by clicking on the right button so now this is the first slice that we use that I've created using the brush and this is the second slice that we created using the polygon now let's go to the last one which is like uh, let me just choose it so this type of uh, this type of tools will help you directly to like if someone of you have already uh, tested the sum model segment anything model I am not saying that this is this like as like slicer is as powerful as some but like the same principle where you just need to scroll uh, or move your mouse until getting the best uh, selection and then you click on the uh, left button to trace the uh, mask that you want so for example if i just move a little bit here you see that it is already tracing the whole part here and i can select it but we can do the same thing with the liver so let's say for example now it is selected we can click of course it can't be like as uh, perfect like it can't be perfect from the beginning so you need to try multiple times and now for example i have this and if you are not happy with this you can use the uh, the eraser and start erasing these parts here okay and the same thing here and you just need to clean it and here as well okay for example let's say that this is what we uh, can take as the output so these are the three uh, tools that we can use this one was from using the brush this one using the polygon and this one using this uh, i don't know how to call it label tracing so label level tracing so you just need to select what is the uh, the most close part or the most close uh, borders traced by this uh, the, by this tool and then you click on the left button and it will be traced and then you can use the eraser to refine the borders okay so now let's say you have completed all the slices for me i did only three slices but let's say you have completed everything and you want to export your file so now this is a very important thing that i need to mention you need to go here in this uh, green arrow okay whenever you click you need to go to the button and here we have export to file so whenever you come here there are some uh, parameters that you need to select so the first thing is you need to choose where you want to save your file okay so the location and then this is very important which is the reference volume if you see that it is not because sometimes by default it is selected as none so you don't need to leave it as none because if you keep it as none what will happen the segmentation file that will be created it will contain only three slices so if you open the segmentation file in the slicer you can see the slices exactly in their positions but if you open them in another software so you cannot do that because you will have different number of slices for the segmentation and for the volume so what you need to do in this case you need to select the reference volume what does it mean selecting the reference volume meaning that the segmentation file that will be created will have the same number of slices as the volume that you have which is the reference volume here okay and then you need to select the file format most of the time it is nifty but if you prefer uh, an rrd or obg or stl then you need to select it so i will keep it as nifty and then you click on support uh, ex sorry export and the file will be created in the same uh, like in the direction that you selected here 
by the way if you are a medical imaging student or practitioner and you are looking for someone to help you to uh, create your deep learning models for medical imaging analysis and this sub applications also you can always contact us we do consulting for this uh, for the field and we can help you build your deep learning models and customized uh, architectures customize uh, this type of application for your purpose so don't hesitate to contact us at contacts at pica.co and you can also see some of our works at pica.co slash portfolio so yeah this is how you can create or you can do the segmentation or annotation using 3d slicer with the manual tools i hope that this video was helpful and if you have any questions about this you can always leave them in the comments and see you in next videos Bye bye